Good morning, guys. It's a really, it's like 72 degrees, beautiful fall day, and we're done working on the farm. We we did quite a bit. I, I cleaned up a lot of the tractors, cleaned up a lot of things, finished the rest of our harvest, and well, I have a few more John Deere's out in the field, but we did, uh, we did an oil change on two of our tractors. Other than that, I just got a pretty cool call from Recon, uh, the sheriff, Recon. Do you guys remember we helped him out? multiple occasions actually like after the tornado we helped out neighbors he told us to come over after the snowstorm all that stuff so he actually just sent me, he actually just just called me and told us or he told me he he pretty much asked me if i could come down to the station and volunteer sheriff i've mentioned it to him before i was like hey if i have time and you need somebody like let me know so i gave him my number and everything and like i filled out all the information and i did like i did a uh, a few firearm training things and i already had some uh and i volunteered for sheriff's office like once a month a few times when they just couldn't book anybody and didn't have enough overtime hours he just called me in and he said i'm like he ran me through the system said i can do it and i'm gonna go do it because his two of his new deputies just said they couldn't work one's wife is going into labor at the hospital and the other one just i think he's either super sick or didn't show up i don't even know i didn't get the full information so i'm heading down there let's head down there right now and we are going so i'm gonna do what is it Right now, let me look. I just got done eating dinner. It's about seven o'clock. And of course, fall days, the sun's gonna go down here soon. So I'm pretty much gonna be doing the night shift. It's already getting quite dark. And so, yeah, we're gonna do the night shift. It's, I'm a little nervous. I'd rather have done it in the day, but I don't know how many hours we're gonna work. I'll, he said he'll call me. Uh, he said he, he like legally can't work right now because he's put in so many hours like through the through the state or whatever. Well, I'm heading down there right now. He's going to debrief me. I'll jump in a cruiser or I don't know. Maybe I'll have one of the, the 1500s. That would be really fun to have a full size pickup truck. Those are always really cool. So I'm kind of speeding right now because he said get down there quickly. And so we're heading down there now. Should probably throw my lights on. Yo, I forget which one's the. I think you pull in here. There we go. And then it's kind of like tucked back in there or something. So we're going to head over here and we're gonna be a police officer today so volunteer sheriff like i said i've done it before i have all the qualifications i guess you can say it's actually not as hard as you think um so i'd love to go and and uh and volunteer so i think this is the road back here it's kind of a weird police station it's brand new too all right hopefully that's my truck or that might be uh that might be recons all right, let's go inside we'll talk to him and yeah we don't have too much light left i mean the sun's still up we got probably an hour light left. I'm not sure where he's at. All right, so I just got done talking to him. He said I get to take his his truck. So very cool. I'm actually this is Recon's truck that he always uses. So I don't know why I didn't just use the other one, but we're gonna be using this one. So we have the laptop here. We have our we have our firearms. We have more in the trunk in the back or in the bed. All that stuff. He went over everything. I'm pretty used. I'm not used to the truck itself, but I'm used to being in a cruiser. I probably logged over. 100 hours inside of one um because i did it what for like three years like once a month like i yeah once a month for like three years i did it it was pretty it was a lot of fun actually so we're heading down now i'll be switching in between first and third person depending on the situations he just said take it easy there hasn't been too many things going on pretty much he wants me to go patrol see if i can get some tickets see if i can get some of that that revenue for the city for the state and yeah he didn't he briefed me on too much. I think he trusts me a lot. So we're going to head out of here. There we go. We'll head down. And then I'm thinking, where's the busiest place? I'm not too sure exactly where we're going to go right now. But I'm just going to head down. We're in. So let me make sure I test all my buttons. All my buttons. All my knobs. There's the lights. There we go. There's my blinkers. Very cool. There, okay, I was, I was trying to find my sirens. There it is. All right, so I should probably turn my hazards off. I think what we're gonna, I'm gonna go do is just post up in the dealership, maybe talk to the guys actually, uh, and see what we can find. There isn't much traffic right now. It's, you know, it's a weekday. It's nine o'clock. Either people are home, you know, with their families or stuff. So, yeah, I think I'll just post up, maybe right here in the bushes. Here we go. Let me go ahead and pull it around. 
And then we'll see if we can catch some speeders, some people at this stop sign. This is a very neglected stop sign and a lot of people forget to stop at it. So this is a pretty good spot. Just turn her off here. And then I forgot, Recon told me to never shut off the pickup truck because the parasitic draw, there's, there's so many things plugged in, more than just the laptop, the radio. There's so many little uh, surveillance system and gadgets inside this vehicle and all police cruisers that to keep it like running. And if I turn this thing off and have everything like just going on a battery that's the alternator isn't charging, I can, I can kill it. So, <clears throat> all right. Oh, what the? What the heck? That guy just went through here. Let's light him up here. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow him real quick. He looked a little intoxicated. I, I want to see if I can get some evidence. Oh, watch out! Big trailer there. All right, I, I believe he's speeding. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I can't tell if he's speeding. He's like too far down the road. The speed limit is 55, so he could not be speeding. But he blew through that. I don't. Okay, I think he might have seen me. Accidentally light him up. Let's go ahead. Let's just light him up right now. I, c I couldn't tell if he was like intoxicated or impaired driving. All right, so the plan is let's pull in behind him. Sir, stay in your vehicle. All right, let's pull in here. I don't need my lights on. There we go. Excuse me, sir. Did you see that stop sign back there? Actually, I didn't, officer. I'm so sorry. It was my bad. And then, so do you know the rule? You should never out. step outside of a vehicle when an officer pulls you over unless asked to. Yes, I um, I got nervous. Okay. I'm sorry. I understand. This, this is I... my first. This is my first ever traffic stop, and probably my ever first ticket. Okay. So, what is uh kind of off topic? But what's wrong with your truck? You got hail damage or something? What is? Um, I was just coming back from actually from a storm chase. Actually. Oh, you're <laughs> in a okay. So you drive, you take the storm chases and like tornadoes and stuff. Yes, yes, officer. All right. It looks like it. A nice truck, but the body doesn't. It's a little rough. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm, you admitted to it. I saw you blow through that. You, you just went too fast. That's a pretty populated intersection. The last two minutes of me sitting there. Yes, I understand. I saw, you know, like five people coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back there, right? You up a ticket, sir. And, uh, and you just hang tight real quick. All right, sounds good. All right, we're just gonna go ahead, write him a citation here. Pretty basic. He he did seem pretty nervous when he stepped out there, there, but we're just gonna take care of him. Make sure he's on his way. I'm actually kind of nervous to write my first ticket. It's I'll just type it up here. Then I'll, I have a, like a little printer that will print it out. Uh, but it's <laughs> this is kind of what I was nervous about. I've got all these little things you gotta go through and procedures to make it official. But I'll just finish it up here. All right, there we go. I got it. Perfect. All right, sir, your ID ran clear. Um, good thing you got insurance and everything. I don't, at least liability. I, yeah, you, you don't really have it. Uh, all right, sir, here's your ticket. Thank you for, uh, thanks for cooperating. A lot of people usually don't cooperate. I was a little nervous that you came through there so fast. Yes, thank you, officer. All right, there's your oh ticket. I got, a, I got a speeder. Have a good day. All right, guys, we got to go. We got to go. Let's light them up here. We got a speeder in. Is that the General Lee? What? And I've only heard of him. Recon told me about him. He saw. He said he saw him like two weeks ago speeding, and he could never catch him. What is this guy doing? All right, he's flying through here. What the? It's like a 1970 Dodge Charger. He just hit a tree. All right, there's no way that this guy's engine is gonna last. He just flew into a tree. I've been running them down. There's no way he's stopping. And we're in pursuit of a runaway vehicle. I'm going to check the license plate, see if it's stolen or anything. All right, it's not that quick, though, boys. There we go. We're closing in on him. I'm not going to do a pit maneuver right next to this building. All right, this is a tricky. He doesn't slow down. There he is. He flipped. He's in the ditch. I'm going to pit him in here. I'm going to box him in. There we go. There we go. He's blocked in. Or freeze, stay in the vehicle. Put your hands up. Stay in the vehicle. Gosh dang it, we got a runner. Let's get him. Let's get him. There's a guy I just gave the ticket to. Pull over, dirtbag. You can't run for long. 
pull over this guy we just he literally just jumped the fence all right i'm chasing him down not for this i was a high school track star i can take him i can take him we're getting on him there we go there we go he'll tell he'll tell here to pocket stride it out stride it out all right we're gonna tackle him get ready to tackle jump come on here we go that a citizen citizens arrest hopefully he can help us out here we go we're chasing him down all right, he's in my backyard. All right, we got him. Freeze. All right, sir, stay there. Come with me. Put your hands behind your back. Get handcuffs on you. Stay there, sir. There we go. Let's put some cuffs on him. And then walk with me here. We're going to take you. Here, come with me. We're going to sit you on these front steps here. All right, sit right there. I'm going to need... Oh, there's nobody else here to help me hold this guy down. All right, sir, go ahead. Take these keys here. If you could help me, I got a pickup truck just a quarter mile up the road. Not even... You can go run, grab that for me, and bring it down here. Here are the keys. I'm the only uh, only deputy here in Chippewa, so I just I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him here. Then we're gonna put him in the back of my cop car. All right. All right, there we go. He's in. He brought her down. Perfect. All right, sir, come with me. Keep your hands behind your back. Walk nice and slow. Go ahead, lead. All right, there we go. Get my pickup truck, boy. No good for nothing. Get in there. All right, so we got him in the back of the truck. I'm gonna head down to the station. I need to get on the phone with Recon, and I, <laughs> I'm gonna need to tell him what just happened. He said he hasn't made like a like a physical arrest, like a chasing arrest, in a long time. But that citizen who came down and helped us, he he helped us a lot. So that was super nice. I got the prisoner in the back seat. He didn't have an ID on him or nothing, and he didn't want to say a word. I don't know if he can speak or, or what, but he just didn't want to say nothing. All right, let's go ahead and pull in here. So I'm going to head down to the station. We'll talk to Recon. There's the... Look at how far he ran. He ran so far. He was a runner, so... We're going to go down there and get him booked. All right, there we go. We just finished up some of the last, uh, last paperwork that we had to do, or computer work, I guess. Uh, we followed him, and he's in the, uh, the cellar back there, so... Perfect. Not the cellar, but our, our prison. It's not really, it's like a holding cell pretty much. It's not an actual like jail. Um, it's just for them to hold. I don't think it, we can have anybody in there longer than like three days, I think. So he's in there and then recon said he's on his way down. He literally only got what he said. He has nobody. So I think he just took like a two, two and a half hour nap and I had to call him to be here at the station. We can't legally like have somebody here without like an officer here so that's the move i think we have some some issues here with the city not having enough officers so maybe maybe that'll be my next job if if farming doesn't work out because i this is pretty this is a little more exciting than farming that's for sure a little more dangerous though too all right so we're gonna go ahead back i got another spot i want to hang out at and we'll go to um i've seen those guys like drive by twice today or like three times i wonder what they're doing and then I actually wait, I saw that truck for sale. That that truck was for sale. That flatbed blue flat or no. It was a blue flatbed. It was uh it was a like a Ford F one hundred, really old pickup truck. I don't know, I called and then when I was finishing up the paperwork I called the tow service to come pick up that generally, so hopefully that'll be out of here soon. Oh no, right now I'm gonna cruise around. Check out my farm <laughs> check out my farm. It is starting to get pretty dark here. So we will uh we'll be going into the night all right guys i'm just getting into position on kind of this is technically technically like a little back road i'm just gonna get into position right here i had my headlights off just because i didn't want them on there we go and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit here hang out it is so dark it is so dark there's no obviously it's a highway no street lights oh does that guy live here all right now he's just going by so it's really dark and i think it's just starting to rain so that's not good we're gonna hang out here we're gonna check speeders check the uh the, i'm the only one here in chippewa working uh I, then i think recon comes on the shift in about an hour so i have an hour left of working and then yeah we'll just hang out hopefully nothing else happens it is pretty boring just 
hanging out here, checking the police scanner. I can actually tap into like other other cities and other areas and see what kind of activity is going on. There's actually a shooting in a gas station like 35 miles away from here, 40 miles away. And uh, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Other than that, that's really, I can't, I'm not supposed to call anybody that's not related to work or anything like that. So I've been, you know, just a little boring. There's quite a bit of traffic going by though. All right, that guy was going fair speed. He was going 56. Speed limit is 55 here, so it's what I like to do is anything over anything over about seven or eight at this time a night. I usually go ahead and pull over, but sometimes depending on the situation and like the traffic level, we uh we wait. Oh, what the heck? That guy doesn't have his lights on, or he has like his he doesn't have his trailer lights on. He had like his on beam lights, like small enough for. I can't believe he's even driving. That must. I can't even see him. All right, let's light him up. Oh, here he is. I almost just ran into the back of him. All right, he's literally. Don't hit my mailbox, man. Do not hit my mailbox. All right, let's pull in front of him here. Nowhere for me to really park. I'm gonna just. This is my farm, so I'll just pull in here. All right, let's talk to this guy. What is going on, sir? Um, my lights are out. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I see that your, your running lights are out. I, something, your head, okay. That's I, what it was. I saw your hazards. Sir, I, yeah. I understand, like, it's good that your hazards are working and all and that you put them on. But what were you thinking? Uh, um, I just have to get home. So getting behind the wheel at this time of night? So a little kid walk, I know it's a highway not like a you know there there is no street lights here yeah i see that now yeah how could you even see the road i don't really know you don't really I know <laughs> come on now that's terrible so you got electrical problems yeah all right i'm gonna can i see license registration make sure everything's good here yep here you go are you buddies with some storm chaser? You guys' trucks look exactly the same. All dented, yeah, chipped up. I'm friends with him. Gotcha. He did drive a red F-250. Yeah, he does. His name's Master. I just pulled him over earlier this morning. Yeah. What in the heck? You two? He ran <laughs> a stop sign. And you here oh. driving down the road with no lights. All right. Um, I'm going to go around your stuff here. If you've got any oh. felonies... You don't look like a guy to have felonies, but, you know, driving down the road with no lights, I don't know about you. All right, boys, what, is, what a strange guy. That, that what, uh, who, who drives down the road? First off, how did he see? I understand he was literally going like 30 miles an hour, probably because he couldn't really see more than, you know, 20 feet in front of him, which in a vehicle is not a lot of feet. And so let's go ahead and run his, run his, uh, his ID here. Give me his driver's license. He has insurance, all that stuff, and registration, so I'm not worried about that. Truck comes through clean on the plate. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm going to cut this guy a break. He, I don't know where he lives. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have him pull over, park in my farm, and then I'm going to go take him back to, or I'm going to take him to wherever he needs to go or call his buddy, one of the two. All right, sir, you're lucky. The sun's starting to come up this morning, but I ran your, uh, oops, still flashlight off. Couldn't see you there. But I, I ran everything, came back clean. You, you look at, you have nothing on your record. That's good to see. Uh, but I am I am going to give you a ticket for failure to use uh, and maintain a safe driving conditions with your vehicle. Uh, and so I'm not going to impound your truck. I'm going to I'm going to cut you, cut you some slack. Your friend seemed like a nice guy too. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep your we're going to keep your. This is actually my farm. I own this farm. We're going to keep you over here. Who's that guy? Is that your buddy honking? We're going to keep your truck and trailer here. I'm gonna drive you back. Where do you live from here? Right across the street. You live right across the street. Yep. <coughs> yep. Well, nice to meet you, neighbor. Well, I'm gonna keep you here. I'll, I'll let you just walk home. All right. Okay. I can't. I can't do that to you. I can't let you drive. That would be. I will get in trouble. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Just pull I'll into my farm here. here. Yep. Okay. You want them move? Here. All right. We'll move our truck for him. We go, yeah. A, a black trailer, black truck in the night while it's raining, even worse. 
And he's doing that kind of stuff. What in tarnation is that guy thinking? Go ahead, flip our lights off. Alright, sir, you have a good day now. I, uh. Wait, where, where'd he go? Alright, you have a good day now. It's nice to meet you. What was your name, by the way? I'm Bolt. Bolt? Alright. Well, pleasure to meet you. Sorry we had to meet this way, neighbor. Hey, there's your friend. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Maybe he'll let me drive that truck. Yeah, maybe I... he'll let you drive a truck that actually works. You guys is, uh. They're all dented and scratched. You think maybe it was your storm chasing that? Did some electrical thing? You get some water in there? Yeah, probably. Probably. All right. You head home now. Have a good night. You guys were up late tonight. Was there a storm? Yeah, there was a blizzard like two weeks ago. Gotcha. And we still been filing paperwork and stuff. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. All right. You have a good one now. Yep. You too. All right, boys, we're heading back. This rain's pretty bad. It is, what is it? Six in the morning now, so we worked all night. So we're gonna go ahead, head back to the station. Recon's gonna take over my shift. And then the, his deputies are say, saying they're on the way too. So I'm heading back. That's it for today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy this little police officer role play where we volunteered as a sheriff, which I thought was pretty fun. It's always cool to try and do that. But yeah, we, we worked a whole night shift in like an evening shift which was pretty cool and we pulled over somebody which that was cool too so thanks you guys for watching hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe all that good stuff that we need you to do